This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. Just like everything in my life, nothing's working. Uh, I tried to post some stuff up on the server. Uh, GoDaddy and GoDaddy is giving me back a 502 bad gateway thing. It means I'm I'm giving you a val- I'm giving them a valid uh, uh, thing, but they're giving me a they're they're having trouble giving me a response. So I have to wait till later to get work done, like post the last show and so on and so forth. All the little things that I have to do so that you can enjoy this wonderful broadcasting experience. Now, let me say to you, by the way, that, and uh, this is a a thing you should know, uh, that you can hear us over at gabnet.net, only it's changed a little bit. It used to be when you went over there, you heard the signal. And I had a whole bunch of problems with a new thing. I bought a security thing, an SSL certificate, which is worthless to me, Uh, but I did it anyway. Uh, 179 bucks so you could get security when you come to my site. But the problem is that the video, the, rather the audio that I was using that comes from a company called Voscast isn't secure, all right? So whenever, if you go to HTTPS, gabnet.net, initially it'll be fine. The minute you play on the, uh, on the player, uh, it just it you lose your security use it loses its security okay it's, it's i don't i don't understand any of this it's getting too late in my life to try and figure any of this shit out but anyway so uh when you go there now there is this little box there and it's a tune in player is what it is it comes from our we supply a signal to tune in and uh, tune in then supplies the signal back out and uh that's how you can hear it on that page. What's good about the TuneIn player, and I wish I had done it earlier, is that TuneIn has some system whereby when we change from one program to another, uh, there's a lapse in which there was no program being generated. It just kind of sits there and waits until the next program comes up, and then it comes up. So you can, you can stay on that player and pro- probably in some cases hear a seamless evening of broadcasting. So... Uh, uh, enjoy that while you will, okay? Uh, today, uh, 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 I, it, let, me, let me start with, well, let's start with last night, okay? Uh, there are times when I've done this that I go, you know, this just isn't worth it, you know? I don't need problems. I don't need headaches. I don't need sorus, as we say as Jews, and, uh, and that, uh, you know, I just don't need this anymore. I, I could do a whole bunch of different things. If I still want to get my Radio Jones, I could just go on Facebook once a day and do a commentary for 15 minutes, and I'd probably get just as many people as I get listening to this whole program, watching this whole program on Facebook at night. Uh, and I would get my Jones that way. Uh, so why am I beating my brains out doing a two-hour show every day uh, to get the same result over and over and over again. I mean, we have a we have a decent sized audience. I mean, it's a nice little audience out there that over the day listens and watches the program. But I I I question whether it's worth my time and effort. And every now and then I come back with the same reply to myself. Well, you know, it's keeping me alive. You know, it's giving me something to do every day. It's forcing me to ply my craft, however badly I ply it now at this. Uh, time in my life and uh so that's why i do it and i do it because in in many ways in spite of the fact that i i can have a lousy day and i can have i can be tired as hell and the minute i start doing this program i suddenly come alive and and then we have like a nice discussion and the show is a great show and when i'm through i go hey that's pretty good i had a lot of fun you know and uh so uh, uh from that standpoint i need it all right but when I have what happened last night happen, I go, I don't need this shit anymore. 
And what happened last night, and let me let me reiterate it for any of you who don't know what happened. I won't play you the segment of the show that it happened on, but uh, I, I can say this: our good friend Rob, who I love and adore, he is like I I. He has been so loyal to what we're trying to do here, and has always been there for us. He's the voice of GabNet. You know, he's he's the guy that uh, sounds like uh, where, where are we? Sounds like like this. You know, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, talk radio like you've never heard it before. In fact, I was thinking about it today, and and while Rob isn't a personality on GabNet. He is every bit a part of GabNet as I am, or Jack Bishop is, or uh, uh, Damian Chaplin is. He he is as much of this network as we are, because he is the the sound of the network, and he makes it sound so damn professional. And I've just appreciated him for for all the time, and uh, uh, w- would do anything for him if he needed me. I mean, I just I can't thank him enough for the work that he's done uh, in 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 doing those promos and everything like that over the over the over the year. So I you know I really have to uh, I really have to thank him. So I want you to know how much I absolutely uh, love and adore this guy, and uh, not in a not in a gay way in a in a in a friendship way. And so I want you to know that before we go into any of this and, and why last night I became very protective of him uh, because I was, I, he, well, let me explain. Okay, so uh, he, he has been on a diet. Uh, it's a rather extraordinary diet that includes taking some kind of injections and uh, uh, eating only, only 500 calories a day. Uh, well, uh, uh, Phil... Uh, who, by the way, I've got to say this about Phil. You know, for whatever you think of him, and I just got another note saying, well, I listened to the first half hour show, but after that I can't listen to it when you got Phil on. Well, I'm sorry. You know, Phil is an important part of this program. He has an opinion you don't agree with, but so what? But in spite of his, uh, the way he is on the air, Phil is one of the nicest, sweetest people I know, Okay. Uh, and I'm sure what he did, he was doing to be helpful, but it had a, it had a very large ramifications. So he talked to a friend of his who was a nutritionist who I don't know, I don't know their credentials, and he said, I asked her to call tonight, he told me this at the top of the show, about, Phil, about, uh, about Rob's, you know, diet. And I, to begin with, I didn't like that because I don't like it when somebody else tries to book my show without at least asking me first. And I think that if he had asked me first, my immediate reaction would have been, no, I don't want her on the show, okay? I don't want her to take on, you know, he, she can tell you what you, what you should know and maybe you can get, tell that to Rob. And I think there was a genuine concern on, on uh, Phil's part that, you know, that he impart this knowledge because, you know, he, he felt he didn't want uh, Rob to hurt himself. Uh, but Rob, you know, when you're on a diet, no matter what diet you go on, I got to tell you this, and I've got knows in my lifetime I've been on a lot of diets. Look at me now. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thin, skinny rail. Uh, I used to weigh, I, we should get the picture out sometime and show you. I used to weigh about 100 and almost so upwards to 150 pounds. I've, I've lost, uh, uh, depending on the day, anywhere from 55 to 60 pounds, all right? And when you're on a diet, there's always going to be somebody who's going to say to you, hey, Alex, that's not, you know, medically safe, you know? That's not a good idea. Like I went on a low carb diet. I went on a low carb diet so low that I was doing probably five carbs a day when you should do at least 20. But I lost the weight and that's all that matters. Now, I don't care how dangerous you say the, the, um, uh, the diet was that I was on. It was more dangerous that I weighed 60 pounds more than I do right now. That would kill me faster than this fucking diet. So Phil had this information and he had this woman. Okay, so now Rob calls up 
And I said, Rob, uh, uh, apparently she's not calling uh, Phil, so why don't you tell him what you heard from the nutritionist just so you, we can get it out of our, you know, get it out here. And so he said, yeah, well, the, you know, what it is, it's bad for you, and, it, you know, it's very dangerous to what you're doing and blah, 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 blah. You know, the normal shit you get from somebody who's going to tell you that, that it's no good for you. And Rob said, I don't care. I'm losing weight on it, and I'm happy with it, and I can live with it. And he, his wife is on the same diet, so they're kind of doing it together in tandem. And God bless you, Rob. I don't care if you lose that weight by cutting your arm off. I mean, the weight you have on you is not healthy. You know that. I know that. And that, you know, you need every bit of encouragement you can get to lose that weight. And if you're doing some wacko diet and it's working for you, then it's better than all, all that weight, okay? But all of a sudden, he, we get a call, and it's Phil's nutritionist friend. And uh, he, she is about ready to start getting into it. And uh, Rob says, that's it, I'm out of here, I'll see you later, and he hangs up. Now, I'm worried for Rob, because I don't want Rob's feelings to be hurt. I like Rob. I think the world of him, as I said earlier, and uh, it's it's important that you know that we get the 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 uh, uh, whole. Uh, let me let's just look at something here. Uh, that we get that we get everything, you know, that he's not hurt. Okay, and apparently he was hurt, and I was worried that he was hurt. And then the, the woman, is, Rob, uh, Rob's gone, so Phil says something to the woman, and I said, no, nah, I don't want to hear it. I said, I really don't want to hear it. We didn't book this person as a guest, and I don't want to hear it. I was, I was kind of mad because it made Rob feel uncomfortable, I felt. I don't know. Uh, I got a note today from Rob, and he says, everything's fine. You know, everything's fine. But so now I, I feel I've lost Rob. Who knows whether he's mad at the show or whether he's just mad at Phil or whether he's just didn't want to have any part to do with it. But I, I, in absence of, of any kind of information, I always figure the worst. So now Phil says to me, you just embarrassed me in front of my friend. Goodbye. And he hangs up. Okay. And then he writes me a note saying, you know, you, you embarrassed me and I, that's it. Have a good show. Have a, you know, good luck with the show. So now I'm going, I've lost Phil too. And I just, I'm sitting here and I'm just going, what do I need this shit for? <laughs> you know, um, I just don't need this kind of drama. I just want to do a show and discuss stuff and have fun with people. A bunch of people I, I dearly uh, uh, love and, and appreciate for taking time out of their lives to call this program. Because these people come on, they stay here for about like an hour and a half. And they do this sometimes four nights a week. I gotta, I, I really, you know, you gotta appreciate that. So I'm appreciating that. And, and now I've lost Phil and I've lost Rob and I don't, you know, and then all of a sudden Tony's gotta go take his dog for a shit. And now we're down to like four people and I don't know what to do. And the show is just going into the dumper. And I'm, I finally just said, I don't know if I can do this again. I don't know if I can come back tomorrow night and do a show. Uh, today it sussed itself out that Rob wrote me a letter back saying, no, no problem, I'll call tonight, everything's, everything's fine, you know, I just didn't want to stick around for that. And, uh, and uh, after one thing or another with Phil, uh, he said, everything's fine, uh, I'll uh, suck in the insult and uh, I, I will come back to the show. Um, but that didn't leave me feeling great because I was already feeling lousy, okay? So, you know, it, 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 it's just that I, I've been kind of like in a point in my life where I'm going, you know, if this is gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it because it's fun. Because it's never gonna be worth it financially. It's never gonna be worth it in getting me another job in the radio business, forget that one. I'm too old for that, you know. So, okay, there's that story. Uh, 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 everything looks, we'll know in a few minutes when we go to the citizens panel if everything worked itself out okay. But it, last night, I was feeling about as miserable and depressed as I felt. And, and uh, to his credit, Phil said today he felt depressed about the whole thing, you know, all day. 
And, and I'm saying, you know, Phil, in spite of what you want to think, is a, is a nice guy, all right? Uh, we don't like his politics, and we like to make fun of him, and I like to call him a shithead and so on and so forth. But basically, he's a nice guy, and Rob's a great guy. And uh, I, I just didn't want that to happen. So anyway, that was kind of okay. That was somewhat solved, all right? Or, or I would say solved. Now I got to tell you another story that shows you how my life has just been shit for the last 24 hours. All right? Uh, get ready. Here's, here, here's the story. Um, I'm at Costco. I decided to go to Costco today rather than on Saturday because Saturday it would be a madhouse in there and it'll be less of a madhouse today. Just to get the, we needed some soda and we needed toilet paper and uh, you know, it wasn't food that we needed. It was just, you know, uh, goods for the house, right? So um, I went over to Costco. I lug over a big cart with me and I go in and start traipsing through the, whole, the place and I'm, I'm getting all my various stuff. And now it's time to check out. And there is a line that's not that long. You know, if a line, if you ever see a long line at Costco, it doesn't take that long to get through the long line. In fact, it's pretty fast. They're good. I mean, they really run people through there very fast. But anyway, I'm back, oh, I don't know, about an eighth of a mile. I don't know how far back I am. And there's a woman in front of me. And now the line is starting to move. But she's not moving because she's looking at a bathrobe on the side of the aisle. And I'm, I'm kind of, you know, looking apprehensive. And finally she turns around and she goes, oh, okay, yeah. And then she moves on. And then as she moves on, she then leaves her cart again to go over and look at some more stuff. And now the line is going. And, she, and, I, and, and finally I kind of, eh, move, you know, I think it's time to move. And she goes, oh, yeah, you know, and she... You know, she's a young, I'd say she was in her 30s, maybe 40s, Asian. Uh, and so we get, this is annoying. I mean, this is just annoying. And what annoys me about it is when you're in a public place like Costco or anywhere else, realize there are people in back of you. You know, there are people that if you're stalling doing something, you're inconveniencing them. Because by the time when you're ready to check out and you see there's a line, you want that line to move fast and you want to get to the counter and you want to pay and get out, get the fuck out of there. You're through shopping. But she apparently doesn't care whether there's anybody in back of her. She's just looking at stuff and not uh, attending to her cart. So now we finally get up to the, uh, to the area where you, where you kind of uh, snake around to get ready to go to a counter. And I'm one by one cart behind and she's the cart in front of me and I look at the cart in front of me and she's not there now but the cart in front of me is going to have somebody any second say hey you know counter 18 or 19 or whatever but no she is over about 10 feet checking out something that she didn't know she wanted or didn't want and finally I said hey you know will you come back and please attend to your cart and she goes, oh, well, that's no big deal. You know, well, they're not taking anybody yet. Well, they could take somebody any second. And quite frankly, you know, you're just not, you're not paying attention to what's going on behind you. And she said, uh, and I said, uh, you know, I said, you should, I said, you should care about the people in back of you. And she says, you're just a mean old man. And I went, well, you're a bitch. How does she respond to this? She says, uh, a clerk, uh, I want a clerk here. I'm being harassed. Or she said harassed. I'm being harassed. And I went, are you kidding me? You're being harassed? Oh, part of it was, she said, my cart was here and hers was a little bit forward. She says, move your cart back. You're too close to mine. And that's, I think, when I called her a bitch. And uh, she said, he's harassing me. Do something about it. He's harassing me. And, I'm th and I looked over at her and I went, me too, me too, me too. You know, it's this kind of 
can I use the, I won't use the word cunt because a cunt is a very uh, positive term that guys use with each other occasionally in England when you like each other. So, you know, it's a, it's a, she was a bitch. And what she did is this was a perfect example of this whole thing that's been going on in this country with harassment and with the Me Too movement is that it finally boils down to a bitch like this who uh, misuses that whole thing and cheapens it by suddenly making doing something for her own benefit. And of course, the people, the clerks, just weren't even paying it, having anything to do with that harassment thing. They just, you know. But I mean, the fact that she was saying, I was harassing her, harassing her, or whatever, when all I was doing was I was, my cart was behind hers. And she wanted me to move it back further, which there was no need to do. And because I wasn't moving it back, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the little so-and-so uh, suddenly says, I'm har harassing her. Oh, look, he gave me a nasty look. Well, of course I gave her a nasty look. You know, I, you know you, if you're going to say that a guy has ha harassed you, please have it be something like he grabbed your pussy or he tapped you or he batted you on the ass or, you know, I said, hey, baby, nice boobs. You know, something like that. Not, will you move your cart, bitch? Well, they weren't having anything to do with it, so finally I got, went over to my line and I checked out and it looked like and what turned out was that she was stuck behind somebody else at a counter right next to mine and I was out before her but I mean what bothered me about it was number one the mean old man line uh yeah I'm an old man uh I don't think I'm particularly mean I can get nasty when somebody else is being nasty I'll have to admit that uh, but she was just a piece of work. And what bothered me was what we've come to when this whole Me Too thing started, it was a good thing, okay? And now when it's boiled itself down to somebody like this woman, it sucks, you know? And um, uh, it, it just, it, it ruined my day. That, that was for damn sure. And... Um, so that, that that added to what happened last night. I, I I've just been like, wow, yeah. So uh, so I'm a mean old man who harasses women. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. I'm a regular Harvey Weinstein. Put me in that category. He's harassing me. He's, she said harass. The word is harass, by the way. Um, you know. So I I just I, I who gives a fuck or even a flying fuck. But, uh, you know, I mean, I just, uh, all I was doing was just trying to get somebody to pay attention and know there were people behind her and that she should go and she shouldn't have made a big deal out of it. And she should have just said, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I was just looking at something. I go, good, that's fine. But let's, you know, we all want to get out of here. Uh, but no, she had to make an issue out of it. You know, I, was just, I wasn't making an issue out of it. I was just saying, hey, get over here. They're going to call you any moment and ask you to move. So that was my problem. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd let you know that one. So I went to Costco and I went to buy, it, nothing went right today. I went to buy bacon. They didn't have bacon. They didn't have my bacon, the, the big thick sliced bacon. I don't like their thin, w wimpy, Kirkland bacon. And um, I, um, but I had to buy some glasses and I buy the cheap glasses like $20 for four three glasses or four glasses was three glasses yeah three and if they did you see the ones i wear are um where where what did i oh here it is these are the glasses i wear normally okay see 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 them if, if you're watching us on facebook live you can see that i'm showing my glasses okay those are the glasses i usually wear they didn't have them there this is the best I could come up with. Is this too feminine? Look at these. These are like green on the bottom and they've got a fringy thing on top. But how do those look? Do you like those? Okay. So I don't know. I'll just, I'll, I can wear these. Um, or I can wear the old ones. Doesn't matter. These have kind of horn rimmed kind of, I don't know. What is this crap? It's just, is this really 
It's stupid. Anyway, here we are with my new glasses, but I'll wear the old ones since I, I have a lot, a couple of them left. It's funny, they always disappear. They always go somewhere. I don't know. There's, there's some place out in, the, out in the universe where you go there and all the cla glasses you ever had are uh, hanging out together. Uh, because you, that's why I never buy an expensive pair of glasses. I used to go out and buy really expensive glasses, and you lose them, you know? So why, buy, why pay a lot of money for something you're going to lose when all, all you really need, like in my case, are reading glasses? So that's, that's what's happening. So anyway, it's been uh, quite a day. Uh, let's uh, open up the Skype lines and let's talk to people, okay? Uh, this is where everybody tunes out, all right? Uh, oops, wow, why, why have I got so much of that here? Let me get rid of these. Uh, just to uh, clear it all up. There we go. And we're ready for somebody to call. I Oh, yeah, I've turned on the Skype lines. Everybody should see my uh, gabnet uh, as a green dot. And uh, here comes Rob Alfano, ladies and gentlemen, right off the bat. Good evening to you, Rob. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm you know, outside of my little dramas, you know. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm real good. Yeah. I, uh, I I wanted to, you know, I sent you that email today. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, address a couple of things okay. about yeah. last night. Okay. First thing I want to do. Hold on a second. Let me just get Kevin on here. Because the first person who calls isn't in sync. And then the minute I have a second person online, everybody's in sync. Go ahead now, uh, Rob. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to apologize to you and Phil for... Um, getting off and causing the craziness that happened last night. I heard it today this morning as I was driving in to uh, go see a customer. I had a two-hour drive, yeah. and that was absolutely off the charts. Yeah. I also want to say a couple of other things. Um, uh, I appreciate, Phil, what you tried to do, but also, with that said, uh, it's I, I I hung up, not angry at anybody. I just said, you know what? I'm not going to listen to this. When you go on a diet and Alex do this, and uh, you know when you go on a diet, and you make a commitment to something. The last thing you need to hear are naysaying. I think that's what I said a while back here. That's yeah. what you said. You you hit it right on the head last night. Yeah. I wasn't angry at anybody when I hung up. All I wanted to do was not listen to it. I, I'm charged up. I'm doing what I'm doing. I feel great. Uh, and, and as such, and I did the research that I felt was necessary to do and opinions on diets, whether you're talking about Atkins, whether you're talking about pretty much any diet, there's a lot of controversy. And we're going to die of something. All of us. Yeah, but you know something? It's, it, we're going to get cancer, yeah, and people yeah. who choose to do different things are going to get whatever they're going to get. And quite frankly, it's a personal decision that I've made after doing the research, and, and I'm happy with it, and it works. And the other thing I want to, uh, that I want to address with Phil is that I'm on edge. It's not because of the diet I'm on edge. In fact, I haven't felt this good in a long time. Uh, I, I am on edge is because I am truly worried about this world. I am truly worried about this country. Now, I'm a glass half empty kind of guy, always have been. I have never seen anything like what we see in our government right now. Mm -hmm. When What happened with uh, Nixon happened back in the 70s. The Republicans championed it. They thought, let's get this done. Let's not put roadblocks up. Let's not try to muddy the waters. To me, this is all very scary. And I am on edge about that. But in my personal life, I couldn't be happier. And in fact, I, I, I've leveled with people and told people that I've had issues with depression since I've started this diet. I've never felt so good. I am extremely happy. It is, I am not on edge at all. I don't so know. Why, I don't know why you're a little distorted tonight with your mic. I, you know, maybe it could be it's it's too loud. Um, you know, I if, the thing that you said I think that was true, and then Phil's here, so he'll probably have something to say. Uh, that you said is true. That when you're on a diet, you don't need, and you're believing in it, and you're doing it, and you're uh, assiduous in your in your in your 
passion for it. You don't want anybody to tell you anything, right? Absolutely. You just, and my point is, how much have you lost, uh, Rob, so far? 20 pounds. That's healthier than, you, than any, any negatives of any diet that you're doing. And when people used to tell me, oh, well, you know, Atkins, boy, you can, you can, get, you can die on Atkins. I go, well, I'm going to die if I keep this weight on. Absolutely. You know, and there you make trade-offs in life about a lot of different things. Well, you make and a decision about how you do it. And I think that what you didn't need was the was the naysayer to kind of put a crimp in right. your mental I, in your I, mental I, status. I just started this. I'm not quite a month into it. I'm, you know, since the what the since the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Um I'm I'm committed. It is like going down a one way street and there's no there's no turning back. I don't want to hear an argument right now, what's good or bad. I, well, there's no way I was going to listen to her. And I politely hung up. I said, well, good evening, every, good night, everybody. And yeah. I hung up the phone. Yeah. Well, we, I didn't know why you did. You know, I, I, think, I, was, I, I was worried I that you were mad. I was conversation with yeah. her because to me it was pointless. And I would have gotten a bit indignant because – this is what I've chosen to do. It's not up for uh, discussion, really. I chose to share this as an aside. I'm losing weight. I'm very happy about it. Whether or not you choose to do something like this or not, that's a personal decision that you make, just like I've made it. Yeah. And I, did, I don't want to hear it. So when I, and I said to you on the phone last night, Phil, I won't listen to her. She could call in. I'm not going to listen. They had nothing to do. I wasn't angry at anybody. There's no anger. So I, I'm, I am sorry about all the ruckus that got created last night in the last half hour of the show, but that's not wasn't my intention. It was just to extricate myself from the situation, go to bed, and that's it. And that's what I did. I had to be up at, and out at 7.30 this morning. So Yeah. Uh, uh, Phil? My, uh, now, all I could have been was a naysayer. Uh, I'm not going to go into it. You're obviously adamant about your position. I respect that. Uh, I did what I could do, uh, and, and that's that. She would have given actual medical information. No, no, I, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to tell you what she would have said. I'm not going to go through it. All I would have said was she could have expressed it a lot better than I could. But that, that's not the point. I didn't want to hear it from you or her or anybody else. I understand. It's just not It's not something I wanted to hear. So I said, okay. I understand. We, we all had, Alex and I had a bad day, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, I'm glad that you feel better. Alex is starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel better. I'm telling you, I went to bed, slept like a baby. Yeah, I didn't yeah. leave. The, I did not leave angry or upset. I just said to myself. I, yes. By the way, by the way, <laughs> nobody, nobody, listen to it today. Nobody's the villain in this scenario. Let me say this about Phil, that he he was no villain in this scenario because Phil, the nice part of him that I believe is there, was concerned about you. Absolutely. So, so that, and I, and you know, I, again, I appreciate that. He, he did that. what he did out but, of, uh, what I didn't like was that he booked somebody on my show, <laughs> you know, and I, I had no control over that. And if I had been asked, I probably would have said no. I will say this to you. Timing is everything. So yeah. prior to me being on this diet, if I had brought it up and say, hey, you know, I'm starting to do some research into this, Maybe I would have listened to the opinion a lot more open, but I ch made a decision, and I've and I'm down that road, and it's like uh, I'm not turning around. I'm I'm I I read the entire diet by the doctor. It was created in the 50s, an Italian doctor. I can't remember his name right now off the bat. Read all that, and I I spent a lot of time online looking at the different video blogs of all the different people who were on it on 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 YouTube and their. Facebook pages, listening to people's experiences with it, and I made and and watching my wife's experience with it, and and made a decision that this is what I wanted to do. And so, what you did last night, I wasn't going to receive it, and I and I wasn't angry with you, nor anybody else. I just said, you know, I, I'm not going to listen to this. I really can't because it's hard enough to get up every day and go through it. I don't need to hear and have stuff going on in the back of my head. I'm trying to remain positive about it. So you, you know when you know when it starts working. You know when it starts paying off is when finally people say, "Hey, you've lost some weight." 
I, you know. I, 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 I'm getting that from, I got a, a message from one of the guys I work with who I, he called me on business and said, man, I, I'm hearing from everybody that you're just dropping weight like crazy. Cause I got clothes that I'm actually fitting into now that I can wear. Yeah, dress but wait, wait, wait till you, wait till you, those clothes don't fit you and you got to go buy new ones. Right. You know, but you know what we did with me? We, we bought me, I got, I was wearing 40s. We got me 36s. I get in the 36s, they're not snug or anything, okay? And then girlfriend threw away all my other pants, you know, and said, this, this is the way, you know, huh? <laughs> now you're stuck there. Well, you're stuck there. <laughs> I've got to. I can't afford to buy a whole bunch of new pants from gaining weight, you know? <laughs> But, so anyway, that I just, but I did want to apologize because I didn't realize when I listened to that this morning. In fact, I I listened to it with a finger ready to hit the stop button at any time because I didn't want to hear anybody's opinion on it. But when I heard that she was gone right away, I was so, and then then I was like, holy shit! Listen, look at look at the ruckus, and then I felt bad about that, and I felt bad that you two fought about it. So I just wanted to apologize for that. Well. Yes, thank you. I uh, my apologies to you and Alex. Uh, you know, uh, uh, all I can tell you is if you're uh, seriously uh, afraid of state of the nation, I received uh, from uh, Donald Trump today a survey <laughs> that, that uh, <laughs> we can take to let him know how we feel. Yeah, and he sent it out to only people who agree with him, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, those that will give uh, twenty-five to two hundred dollars to what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> to what? Oh, a thousand. Uh, uh, let's see. That is for. Will you make a commitment to work with uh, President Trump and the Republican Party to promote his agenda, elect candidates in two thousand eighteen that are dedicated to making America great again? And uh, you do it, realize the Republican Party is out to me. My name is right, right there. Yeah, you do realize the Republicans are scared shitless about 2018. Uh, I think they know what's coming. Yeah, but the fact is that once we get a Democratic Congress in there, and if the, they, we take over the Senate, we take over the House of Representatives, uh, all the things that he's done, we can undo. We could well, repeal that. Uh, that that. Uh, of course, he then wouldn't sign it. So you know, uh, that's the biggest problem. Uh, well, although you that. can over, you can override a president's veto, can't you? Yeah, if they have enough uh, votes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they would. Two thirds. Two thirds. Yeah. I think it's two thirds majority. By but, the, uh, by the way, I mean, did you see that big I, suck I, ass? What? what? The, the 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 tax bill is one thing. All right, Reagan did it. You know, that's fine. I mean, that's normal politics. And I don't think that'll kill anybody. But I'm really, really fearful of what's going on with all of this fake news and and down and 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 he's he's taking all of our most important institutions and he's making people doubt them. Well, and that's you remember you know, when news was news. What we have now is opinion and not news. Well, so if you watch and I, you know what, I hadn't in so long watch the evening news on the networks. The networks are reporting news. They're not reporting opinion. The CNN, yes, they'll, they'll do five minutes, three minutes of news, and then 20 minutes of, of you know, talking about it. But when you watch the evening news yeah. on the networks, that hasn't changed. They're still right. reporting the facts, and they're not reporting the facts you get on Fox News. They're reporting the real stories that are going on. What makes you think that the Fox News aren't uh, aren't other stories that are real? I have a good answer for you, because I don't believe anything that comes out of the president's mouth. Because in his own, he 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 rewrites history. He 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 says, "Oh well, President Obama bugged Trump Towers when I during the campaign." We got I've got I've got the evidence. You a couple of weeks, you'll see. Still waiting. How many times has that happened? It's head I games. I trust media way. Yes, exactly. And the more you deny, 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 deny. You know that just that's the new style. That's what that uh, that nut job in Alabama did. Deny, 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 deny. Yeah, he was like a mini Trump. I see it as an no interpretation. Way. He wow. interprets it. He interpreted it that way uh, because his conversations at Trump Tower. <laughs> 
were uh, listened to oh, uh, because I guess there were other people that had called. That's that's why he felt that okay. he was being uh, bugged. Okay, but he didn't stop there. He said, there's evidence that I'm going to reveal in the coming weeks, and you will see. And we never You'll saw the surprised. evidence. We saw never anything. saw the evidence. You'll be surprised. And he said that more than once. I don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. Oh, and really? this Republican senator from Ohio who is raising all kinds of hay and his son all they're doing is putting doubt in Americans' minds about a guy that they absolutely loved in Mueller. Americans, this is from the Republicans now, back six months ago, Americans can sleep well. Mueller is, is the man for the job. He'll do the job. And all of a sudden now, because they're getting worried with, you've got two indictments so far, you got all this going on, they're getting close. So between Fox News... Because no one else is reporting this. Believe me, if it was a story, the other networks would be reporting it. Fox News and people close to Trump, his sons. I mean, come on. Wake up, Phil. Wake up. There's a lot of shit going on here. And it, to me, it's well, very it, scary. Can I ask? It, it, can, the yeah. thing that's scary Kevin, about it. Kevin, go ahead. The thing yeah. that's scary about it, Rob, is that you see, I, I'm seeing it bleed into the house itself. The, the Republicans are doing the same shit. They did a little uh, thing, I, I don't remember what channel it was, MSNBC or whatever, where they went back six or eight months and so-and-so talked about how shitty Trump was and what he does and how he's losing his brain. Then they go back to, to yesterday. Oh, he's the greatest thing that's happened. Then they go back to another guy. He says the same thing, totally wrong, different about him. These are Republicans, mind you. And then they go back to yesterday, and they're standing up there googling all over him. Let me, it's let me, all, let me, it, it let me for a moment, it. Kevin. Let me just uh, say this in 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 deference to uh, being impartial for a moment. Uh, I, do you think maybe maybe he won them over? No. Uh, oh, I okay. I all right. I'm just that asking moment. that. You know. They're just happy for that moment because they wanted the tax bill. Okay, fine. They got it. Well, they got it. I actually looked at it like. They're playing head games back to him, and you know, let's kiss his ass today. It well, didn't even look also, also, what they did is they parsed the whole thing, so it seemed like all America loved the idea. When it turned out yeah. that a majority of Americans thought it was a bad idea. But and it did goes you back hear, to what you're saying is that it, you can't believe a fucking word he's saying. Did you hear Wait, all let, of let, 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 Yeah. Did you hear that the recording that they played from all of these different folks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God! It makes me. It, it's like this is dictatorship. Let me. Let me. Let, Phil probably has something to say about this. He's trying to be really good tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I see, yeah. I see the um, uh, Pelosi and Schumer and uh, Bernie Sanders uh, and. Uh, uh, Democrat after Democrat standing on the House and Senate floor uh, uh, t saying that this is the worst thing for America, this is terrible, this is going to take the food out of babies' mouths, they're going to they, they're gonna tr take babies and throw them out of incubators like they did in Kuwait, you know, and what, uh, what the situation is, is I have a feeling, what's wrong with a tax cut? Why? Why didn't the? Why didn't they do tax cuts for the last uh, eight years? You know, yeah, Obama wanted to cut. So about that, and so they couldn't good. get couldn't get help from the other side of the aisle. Yeah, he they tried to do the, the, the Republicans. No, they wouldn't let him have it. They so yeah, the Republicans are doing just what they're doing back and forth well, now. That's what I hate about politics. A tax cut right, for the last you. eight years. And the Republicans were able to uh, finagle it through somehow. Okay. Aren't they all getting what Phil, they wanted? Phil, there's nothing wrong with the tax cut. What's wrong with this tax cut is they didn't have any all hearings right. on it. They didn't right. even have any, any people be able to get up and say, here's why I'm against it. So the only thing the Democrats could do was shout about it because they weren't going to be able to get in front of a committee and, and talk about it. They didn't need to. They'd already made their mind up as soon as the legislation was proposed. I made my mind up when I heard that we were going to be a The Democrats said they weren't going to let 
one bit of legislation go through uh, because they wanted uh, to show that uh, Trump couldn't get anything done. When I heard that we were going to be $12.5 billion uh, trillion dollars in debt, I said, uh, this is not good because they're not finding a way to pay for it. And they're going to find a way to pay for it. You know how they're going to pay for it? They're going to take away my Medicare. They're going to take away my... Uh, Believe me, that's they, they're lining up to do that. Paul you Ryan wants to, that. Paul, Paul Ryan has I, said that's that's next. Paul Ryan said that. And uh, also, also, on. this was a backdoor way of trying to kill Obamacare. And Trump admitted that yesterday. He said, "I didn't tell you while this was going on, but I can tell you now that we got rid of Obamacare in the process." Really? Yeah, I thought that was shitty as hell. Public knowledge. It's, he didn't no, get it wasn't. Of yes, Patrick. Yeah. No, Pat, Patrick has his hand up. Rid of the mandate. Patrick has his hand up. Patrick. Um, I've been aware that they're getting rid of the mandate. Been part of that from day one. It's, I don't know why that's a big surprise to everybody. Right. And I mean, all of the talk shows here in Milwaukee, that's been one of the things they've been lauding about this tax cut. Is not only is it doing a tax cut, but it's getting rid of the mandate. So that's why I listen. I only listened to about three quarters of the show last night. I missed all the excitement. But I did hear there was some surprise that the mandate was gone. And I'm like, well, where the fuck has everybody else been? And I watch Fox News and I watch MSNBC and I watch, and it, everybody has known about this. Just it, and to say that with Trump, oh, and by the way, I, I kind of snuck this in. Well, where the fuck has he been? Because that's been part of the Republican uh, agenda to begin with anyway. So if it costs... Yeah. Yeah. Why do you even have to say it then? Right. Why, no, that but, bothers me because it's all politics well, as usual. Also, also, it's because a couple of months ago, didn't, didn't, they, didn't they vote against getting rid of Obamacare and against the individual mandate? Yeah. And, and, and wait, a minute, wait a minute, let me finish. And so they found a sneaky way of getting rid of it. So what right. they really did without any hearings... Uh, and by just by will of numbers and force, they f shoved this tax break down our throats. Now, none of us are going to mind a tax break, but we do mind a tax break when it's going to cost us money. OK, I know I that sounds support. weird, but it's going to cost us money. Patrick, again. But they, they didn't get rid of Obamacare. They got no. rid of the mandate, not Obamacare. So this is yeah. totally different than what they weren't able to do two months ago. This is just part of what that would have been. So getting rid of the mandate is not getting rid of Obamacare. It's just the mandate. So that's all that they got in here. He signed an executive order a couple of months ago to get rid of the mandate. All this did was it made it part of the legislation. And he, you know, uh, I don't know that it snuck into the legislation, but uh, I guess he was trying to say we didn't want to advertise it because we didn't want to uh, create more Michigas around uh, the uh, well, legislation. Well, no, what we're talking about is you, you, you need to. Inf I mean, if the American public isn't paying attention and you sneak something through, that's still terrible, you know. All but the time. Let me ask you a question yeah, here. Yeah, I, I, I was talking to my, my ex-wife, Ronnie, today, because I call her about once a week to see how she's doing. And um, we get into a lot, a long discussions about stuff. And, Phil, what do they refer to Medicare and uh, Social Security as? They? Yes. Um, Entitlement. Ah, well, uh, no, there, no, no, uh, if Kevin, well, it's Kevin, not an entitlement. No, Kevin it, got it, but they no, it's what they call it. You've heard him call uh, it entitlements, and some of it is. No, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I put money in it. Here no, is it. here is something my ex-wife said to me that they are not entitlements. Okay, they are technically earned benefits. Yep. And then the Republicans use the word entitlements as a prejudicial statement. Yep. For many, let me let me explain uh, now. Uh, some of the things that Social Security and disability do for people, uh, I agree <laughs> with. I feel it's needed because you have to have a safety net for those that need it. But uh, those things that they do, whether it's uh, 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 the child care stuff or uh, you know uh, food programs or uh, disability. There's, there's a number of different programs that are tied to Social Security that weren't 
given to people that earn those benefits, but they get them because what, it's an entitlement. What's wrong with wanting to help children? I say there's anything wrong with wanting to help children, but it is an entitlement. But these are earned benefits. In other words, when you when you what when, you get is an earned benefit. No, Social Security. Social Security is an earned benefit. I paid for part of it. My employers have paid for part of it, but it's like an earned benefit that I would get at any company. But in which I Medi work Cal, somewhere and instance. they give me something in return for it, you know, little extra if, benefits. Right. If you got Medi-Cal or something like that because you were on welfare, you weren't 65 years old, but you were on welfare and they gave yeah, you but, these uh, things, those are entitlements. No, they're not uh, entitlements. They're earned benefits. Uh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know how to go back. You know, I, all I'm saying is all I'm saying is that. entitlements is a prejudicial. Isn't state. there a box for SS? Don't paycheck? you agree, Rob? Isn't pre uh, entitlements a, a prejudicial statement? Sure, it is. It's, it's like calling something Obamacare instead of the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In fact, I loved all the people. They took a poll once and they said, uh, "Are uh, uh, are you for the uh, for Obamacare? No. Are you for an Affordable Care Act?" And they said, "Oh, absolutely." Yeah. So you know. Uh, yes, Patrick. Spin. Patrick. Maybe it's my paralysis that went to my head, but I must be the only one, and I, I don't think I've ever expressed this because I just thought it was logical on my end, but I must be the only one out of all of the people that have ever been on this panel and that I've spoken with that when I hear the term entitlement, yeah. the word entitled means you are entitled to it. And that's the way I've always thought about it, is that Medicare, Medicaid, disability, things like that, you are entitled to it because you have earned it mm -hmm. over the years of working. And I don't understand why everybody takes this as a negative. And you know, I'm hearing it again from all you guys. Well, no, I, word, I, I, I agree with you, Patrick. That that, the, the, the way it's used. Yeah, it's the right. way it's used it's in a, a snide way. But the fact is, you're right. When you're entitled to something, that's a good thing. You're entitled yeah. to it. You didn't. Yeah. You, you don't have to steal it. You're entitled to have it. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, I, and I agree with it. you. But they have yeah. turned it into a negative by, by sneering when they say the word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what, Alex? You know, that's the Democrat problem for allowing that to be taken as a negative. You're right. I mean, I'm over here on the yeah. other side of the aisle going, the term entitlement means I've worked all my life, however many years that is, and when I cash in for uh, Social Security, I've earned it. I'm entitled to it. Correct. I agree, except there's another meaning to that, and you've heard it being used. Look at that person. He looks like he's entitled to everything. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, a negative, there's another connotation to the word entitled, right? You, yeah. you know, you hear people talk about it all the time. Look at him. He's a snob. This is entitled to everything. Yeah. Right. Well, that, I, I hear you're that showing the negative me. connotation. Well, <laughs> that's what we're getting. That's the way it's being presented. Jeff has his hand up. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, Tony, I, Tony, if you're trying to call, don't call using the uh, uh, the last night's uh, um, what do you call panel or whatever. Call. Yeah. You know, he just, just called. Get, he just called my iPad. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. You're calling everybody's iPad, Tony. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, anyway. uh, you know, the, the yeah. word liberal, for instance, uh, during Reagan's term. No, but, but oh, Jeff I'm had his Jeff. Jeff had his hand up. Yeah, and he, Jeff me. hasn't said anything all night, so let's. All right. When. When I went to high school, uh, we all had lunch, and, uh, and but we didn't have any breakfast. That was it was not part of the system. And to have lunch, you had to pay for it. But I talked to uh, the principal of the same high school I went to, and he told me, and this was maybe two years ago, and he said twenty to forty percent of the kids in that school were getting food in the morning because otherwise they wouldn't eat because their families were very poor and they, they had no way of doing it. So a lot of people call that an entitlement. 
I don't consider that entitlement. I think it's just good management. It's assistance. Of, it's it's, of, be, it's of being kids. it's being a decent human being. It's of helps, course. you know. Well, but if you're 12 years old, what difference does it make? Hey, you're hungry. You don't want a kid to go hungry. And and you know there's there's so much waste on other things. The least you can do is make sure they don't. But you know you wonder you know why their parents, uh, if they have parents, aren't aren't doing something or at least making the school aware that uh, there's a problem that the school has to figure it out. But I was going to say something about uh, words and the way we use inflections. Mm -hmm. When Reagan uh, was uh, uh, president. He made the word liberal a dirty word, uh, and people didn't want to say that they were liberal because Reagan, uh, you know, he was able to change the change it up and, and make it a, a negative connotation, uh, you know, and so what's happening is uh, we're taking words that don't have negative connotations and we're making them negative just to, yeah, well, to we're not to, we're not the republicans are very good at taking positive oh. terms and making them negatives uh, by the way we've been joined uh, uh in our panel by uh, michael klein hi michael how you doing this hey evening? guys yeah he's having a nice glass happy of, belated birthday you no know, thank you very much uh, patrick has his hand up okay. so republicans are, are being mean and making word bad and democrats are being wussy and not Pushing back. You're right. Well, You're no, right. Uh, you, you, listen, me, you, got, you have no argument for me or or, yeah. or Rob or anybody on that one. Right. So I mean, I I'll, I'll take. I, I don't like the fact that you can just write off Republicans being mean because you got to chastise your own side and say we're a bunch of pussies and we allow somebody who uses the term entitlement. To use it as a slur rather than the actual definition of it. And if and to, to further your point there, if they were smart, they'd be doing exactly what the Republicans did with Obamacare. And they should name this tax bill Trump tax or some silly name and, and tie it to them. Because when the deficit starts going up and now they got to try to figure out how they're going to pay for that, you can then do exactly what they keep saying and you keep mentioning Obama and Obama and Obama. They don't do that. We, they should do that. Will you do me a they, uh, uh, hold on a second. Will you do me a favor, Rob, and just turn your mic down a little bit. For some reason, you're fuzzy tonight and, and it could be that you're over-modulating and... Uh, but you, uh, you know what it could be? It what? could be Skype. It could be Skype? Yeah, yeah it could be Skype. Yeah, uh, I'm, now, wait a uh, minute. That sounds better, what you just did. Whatever. Well, I'm messing with my board and then when I go record stuff... I, I, you know, I've, I've got levels that are set and all that. It's yeah. going to be at Skype. Yeah, no, but you're sounding better right now than you I were. I see it Skype. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, you know what happened? Gabnet uh, fucked up my computer. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we've done everything now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you got that new new thing with the tune-in. Yeah. So I uh, I turn it on at seven o'clock, which mm -hmm. is about ten o'clock your time, yeah. and uh, and and it and it's uh, giving me an error, uh, but I'm getting it on my iPad. So I said, okay, I'm getting an error. I clicked on it, and then up comes this thing, Mac Cleaner, what? and uh, yeah, Mac Cleaner. Do and not click on Mac Cleaner. Ah, uh, this is a vicious program, and I cannot get rid of it. Yeah, and. and uh, so yeah, what so what happens is I can't get the. All I wanted to do was get the tune in, uh, and well, what happens if you get that error on tune in? It's only because we're between programs and it doesn't no, have a no, signal. We I, I was listening to it on the really? iPad. Oh well, because uh, if I turn it on here, it it. I, no, because I, I get the same thing on my on my Mac uh, desktop. I yeah, can't so, even, I can't even listen to it half the time on once it's up there. Yeah, it won't, this, it won't go on. Really? Uh, but I, I just on, Google how to remove Mac Cleaner and get rid of it. Yeah. Is that the same as Mac Keeper? Yeah, that's it. Mac Keeper, yeah. Mac Cleaner. There's I like need, three I, or I want to, anybody can tell me how to do it. It's all. funny. I have a Mac here, and this thing's running perfectly. 
Well, you must have had iTunes on it or something at one time, and you didn't click on this thing that, you know, I was install, trying to install the iTunes, and then up, I, I must have four or five minute, programs. Uh, so I mean, t installing TuneIn? No, what, 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 what yeah, are you talking about? Yeah, all you do is you just click on that arrow, and uh, you should be getting I, the audio, the play button. I did, I did but it, I didn't get the audio. I got Mac Keeper. And uh, really, I, it, I, that does that that must be something that must be something else that happened with your computer. Yeah, because it's, it's happens a, it's to a, me a, because, uh, huh? I have the same problems with the iTunes with the tune in, or, yeah, tune the tune in. I don't know, there's something that doesn't seem to want to load. There's really? a software from a company because called it, Mac. Listen, Paul. It, it's it's yeah, all you do is you just click on that arrow, and yeah, see, it's working here on my Mac just fine. Yeah, Michael was saying that there's a software. Uh, is it uh, sort of a, a virus kind of software? No, it just, well, it can remove any program, but it's called Clean My Mac from a company called MacPaw, P A W. And I, I swear by it, it's the best. Yeah. It's what Mac Keeper, it, it, you can, un, you can delete any. Say? Yes, yes, it'll get rid of anything. Uh, I need to get rid of that piece of crap. And it also give you a lot of extra free space you didn't know you had on your Mac. It's pretty good. Yeah, well, I need that too. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of people listening to us on the audio, so apparently a lot of them are not having a problem. It's well, strange because last night I listened to Jack's show fine after we all hung up so and I went to the but I but I couldn't do it tonight or last night trying to just listen to the first half hour right yeah yeah it just kept uh, saying uh, paused connecting can't connect hold on a second let me hang up on brian ludwig Ooh. and then let me uh go over here and and uh, call him add to contacts oh. oh well he wasn't added to the he wasn't uh on the contact list for some reason anyway um the um, uh, I I don't know what it is. Well, we'll we'll just wait and suss that out. I mean, I've yeah, I think it's just ever since you did the put the SSL in there, it's probably screwing with some setting in our computers. It could be, could be, but uh, uh, it, it's not an SSL when you're using that. Okay, it, it turns oh, off okay. the S, it turns off the SSL, and I've had no problem with it at all. It it in fact has worked uh, flawlessly and in many cases if we go to another program it simply uh, follows along and goes to the next program so I don't know what this thing is it's trying to install that I don't get you know yeah uh, it installed Firefox advanced Mac cleaner Mac keeper and uh, some other thing oh uh, ng player uh, oh geez <laughs> NG player. Well, how, well, how, wait, what, what did it say? How did you f get it to install that? What did you do? Uh, I just clicked on the uh, on the thing and uh, you know uh, uh, around the box, and that's it, all that stuff came up. What do you mean around the box? Uh, it was at the, the box. Uh, all we uh, have on that box is a play button. Wait a minute. There are a couple of things there. Okay, it, there is a uh, a play button. Okay. And there's the it's, Gabnet logo, and there's get tune in, and the other one is a two, is a uh, is a tune in button. Okay, I clicked on the get tune in. Mm -hmm. I I clicked above it where it said click here for a twenty four seven feed. I clicked on the flag. I tried a couple of different things. If you just and, if you just click the thing itself, it simply goes to tune in. You know. Uh, yeah. Well, mine wasn't, and so it said I needed software. So uh, up came the software, and I said, sure, install, trust you. You know, <laughs> I trusted it. There was no, nothing you had to install. I mean, uh, it's... it's no, no, it, sure, it, it just piggybacked on it. Maybe it was part of the tune could, thing. Could be, could be you got some kind of something in your computer and that that triggered it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because I didn't get all that. I just got, it says right here, we're sorry an error occurred, and I just keep clicking on it, and it acts like it's connecting, and then says... We're sorry an error occurred. That's, that was happening to me, so I figured, okay, I need tune in. Did you? Did, That's uh, where I was going. I'm glad I didn't. Did you? Tr yeah, did, you try, uh, did you try? Did you try? What do you call it? Uh, did you try refreshing your browser? Yeah, I rebooted my computer. Wow. Yeah, I've done all that. Yes, yeah. Pat Patrick has his hand up. Yeah, it sounds like Phil got fucked without a kiss. Yeah, well, God punishes. <laughs> no, I mean, if there's, if there's a problem with this, I'll find another way to solve the problem and get a signal on there. I have other programs that I can use that work. 
But uh, this one seemed to be, it, it seemed to work okay, you know. It worked yesterday. Hmm? It worked yesterday. Well, yeah, I, you know, now, actually, now I'm yeah. just trying going through gabnet.net, and it's loading and playing. So it's fine on my computer. I and, don't, and it's I, working on my iPad. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what the problem is. Is it working for you, Kevin? No, still not working. What are you trying it on? Uh, just my Safari browser. Your so, uh, Safari browser? Uh, yeah. to do me a favor, try, try Chrome and see if it works there. You know, I can look at Chrome. I can look at Safari here and uh, uh, let me see here. Gabnet.net. Where where are we? Hold on a second. Let me let me go to Gabnet.net and uh, see if it plays on my Gabnet. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I go play, and it's paused. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Yeah, you, you know what it is? It has a problem with, I think it has a problem with Safari. That might be it, because if you're getting the yeah. same thing. No, it paused, yeah. It's connecting, 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 but it's not connecting. Mm. See? And, it'll, uh, so then it'll say there's an error. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> during this whole thing, Firefox. Yeah, sorry, out. we an error occurred. That's on that's on Safari. Yeah, that's that's what we. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. We, but it worked last night again uh, for Jack Show. I, I heard it because I heard you call it in and everything else. Really? Yeah, that's strange. And you, and you were using Safari. Yeah, that's all I got. Son of a bitch. That's strange. That's very strange. Uh, all right. I, I don't I don't know what the answer is there. Yeah, that broke our computer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you using Safari too, Phil? Yeah. Yeah. No audio, Rob. How about how about you, uh, uh, Jeff? What are you using? Same Safari. Safari. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'd suggest. But I just got it to work on the cell phone. Yeah, I, cell oh, works. Oh, iPhone, it works. The computer, it wasn't working. Yeah. yeah. What I would suggest is using Zing, Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Uh, and, uh, and and it'll work. It'll work. It work fine. That's fine. Nice. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can. I can. Yeah. We're getting some slap back. Hold on a second. Let me turn that down. There we go. I don't. I don't know what to do about. Yeah, that. Safari's not working for me either. It only works on Chrome. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So I also noticed that when I listen on my iPhone at night, and I like, you know, I fall asleep with Gabnet on. Can you hear me? Yeah. You're telling me to turn it up. Yeah. We we don't want to know what you do with your iPhone at night. Yeah. So I have a I have like this clock radio thing, and I, you know, it's a dock, right? Yeah. And the speaker plays when I wake up in the middle of the night. With every time Jack Show was on, it's playing at like seventy-eight. Really? <laughs> oh, plays like that. Yes. But that happens on the iPhone. Oh, I've had that happen on the iPhone too. Yeah, it's so weird. Only his show, though. Yes, and then you stop it, um, and I'll go to another station on uh, TuneIn mm -hmm. and come back to Gabnet, and then it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I've it, noticed it, that the same uh, thing. It was like Mickey Mouse screaming in the. <laughs> well, if you're listening to it in a downloaded podcast from uh, from iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, what happens is if you hit the little one and a half button uh, by mistake, or you know, uh, it'll it'll make it it'll speed it up, and you can get it up to two, or a, or a half, or take it back to one, so you can. Now you're saying you're speed. saying you're saying Kevin Safari was working last night for you, right? Yeah, for me. Yeah, too. only for Jack's show. O only for Jack, not on mine. No, it worked no. on yours too for me. Oh, okay. So. Last night. Well, and folks, uh, use Chrome. Uh, that'd be my best suggestion. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's better Good than version of your of your um, Safari too. There's a brand new uh, a, a new version recently came out. Yeah. Huh. Well, I, I, I do the updates. Wouldn't it automatically update? Yeah. Sure. So I'm saying the new version might be causing you the problem. Uh, uh, oh, that yeah. could be it. That, could be that it. happens. Because, I mean, yeah. all, all, if, if you have trouble listening to it, folks, and you're on Safari, well, then you're not hearing us right now. No, but if, if you want to uh, listen to it on Safari, uh, just, uh, yeah, on Safari, uh, uh, just double click on the, on, the, on the TuneIn player and you'll go to the TuneIn site and that should be able to play okay. You know, so I also noticed that you uh, stop the autoplay when you go to the site now. Well, because yeah. I this does not have autoplay on it. Okay, ah. and, and that's uh, probably not a bad idea. It, uh, it, yeah. Then when you, if somebody goes to the Skype connection on the site, 
Yeah. Uh, they don't have to turn off the uh, the uh, the sound. Right. Right. So anyway, I'll I'll play around with it probably over the over the holidays and see what we can do to make sure that it, it works in Safari. But for all we know, tomorrow night it'll work on your Safari. So you know, we don't have any idea about that. So I, it's it, this is this is. Uh, it's just all, you know, it's all part of it. You know, I just, we're sorry an error occurred. Okay. Loading, pause, connecting. connecting yeah. Now connecting, I'm, I'm connecting. getting a, a flag that says system scan is recommended and it's that Mac keeper. So, but what it wants me to do is it'll, hi I know what they do. They hijack you and then you have to pay 60 or $80 for their program after they scan it and you're all locked up. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm uh, telling you, get the the software i put i put a link in the uh in the chat oh clean my mac mac paw right yeah it, it, it's it makes me angry mac yeah, paper that's that's one of the a few and it's really invasive yeah yeah let me see here here comes uh, renee well, anyway, folks, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, no, I went over. I double clicked on that, and it uh, tries to uh, Safari tries to go there, but it doesn't. Uh, the the TuneIn page doesn't seem to work. You know, so it's uh, it's it's very strange. It could it could be the TuneIn doesn't work well with with Safari. That wasn't the case. Oh, uh, uh, that's right. You weren't using TuneIn. Right. Yeah, it only happened once it start got switched over. Because oh, otherwise, it was fine. Yeah. What do they charge for this software? Is it uh, free or do they it's charge? It's free. It's free. It's, a, it's, a, it's an embed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, no, not tune in. Uh, Michael. Okay, so put, oh, put I think it's like Mac 30 cleaner. bucks to right. see my Mac. And, uh, and it doesn't put a bunch of I, other I stuff? Agree with no, it does not. I, agree I swear by else. it. Oh, what do you know? I, I'm I'm on. I, I all of a sudden I just clicked on uh, the Safari and it's working. Really? Yeah. Try it, uh, Kevin. Yeah, it did take a few times to get Jacks going, but it finally worked. Yeah. Well, it, 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 try it now. It's probably working. You know, or it's working for me here. I didn't get Jacks. So I'm l listen. Like Thirty bucks. All right. See my Mac. Yeah. So you know we got we got a we, uh, I it's it, it started working. Let me uh, let me re uh, reboot it here. This, I know this is boring people, so we would probably just get out of this and get into other discussions. But I hit Great American oh, Broadcast. It's connecting, connecting, connecting. Uh, I'm a I doctor, <laughs> and I've, I'm I'm calling in to give advice to Rob. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Shit disturber. <laughs> Rob, get off your butt! Stop, stop letting your wife do everything. Because <laughs> you know, with Filipinos, uh, every meal is rice. Like they, they will eat rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Absolutely, fish, rice. My first morning, you know, she, when she moved in, the first morning, I wake up, she was cooking salmon at like seven thirty in the morning, like. Yeah, what, what are you doing? They cook too much. They clean too much. Bacon and eggs, man. I, I don't know from salmon in the morning. Yeah, you got a full. Well, house. you know, Rob, yeah. in uh, in the states, we you know our fast food places like they'll give you like unlimited Coke or so, or Coke or Pepsi or yeah. something. You go to the Philippines, it's unlimited rice. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and uh, and and Rob, you know, you have to admit. Your place is probably sparkling from like stem to stern, and how much of that are you doing? Well, uh, she's a stay at home. She, 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 I go out and bring the bacon in. She cooks it. Yeah, but, well, she does more than that. I guarantee you. That's going to change now because she's going to yeah, go. Okay. She's going to get. Does she job. iron your socks? No, no. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's why I hire a housekeeper. I don't have to be married. Yeah, we. I That's had a, a housekeeper so in cheaper. Singapore. Gosh, she ironed my socks. Yeah, it's a bit much. No one likes wrinkly socks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, yeah, by the way, it, 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 I get, we got a lot of people saying that that uh, Mac cleaner is malware. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it is. Do not ever download it. Yes, uh, Renee. Believe it. It sneaks in there. Renee? Um, 
I had it too. It took a long time to get rid of it. I do not remember how I got rid of it, but I can tell you where to go, where I went to get rid of it. Call Apple Tech Support. Tell them that this is the issue. They will walk you through how to get it off your machine. But literally, I tried months before that stuff, before I could even get it off. I was so desperate. I called how did they find, how did you finally get it off? How, how did you finally get it off? When I called tech support, they walked me through it. And I didn't store it in my brain. I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah. If you, was, if you so just he's Google. Call whoever. Uh, you know, it keeps it keeps wanting you to buy more too. Mac cleaner. It, what do you say, Kevin? Right. It keeps wanting it's, you to buy more. It'll just stay there. Yeah. Yep. It'll just stay there. And I can't it get will not come on. So why That's does, why, call why, tech support. why doesn't somebody do something about this company? Because this company is out there. They're there. You can you you know you go online and they're advertising <laughs> it and so on. Why, why doesn't somebody do something about this company? Yeah, it says, I installed a fake utility called Advanced Mac Cleaner. It says, triple click anywhere in the line below this page to... Triple click? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Holy just, crap. Just, I mean, if you go on Google and just search how to delete Mac Keeper, you'll uh, that's find what a million solutions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what gets me nervous, is you can go out there and get all kinds of advice, but it could be the wrong right. advice. It could be another... It could be another... Apple forums and... Well, you, the trouble is when you're trying to get rid of malware, if you go online looking for ways to get rid of that malware, you yep. might come up with some more malware. Exactly. You that's know? how I think I got it. That's... And even a lot of times programs that you know and trust, you got to watch where you download them from because they sneak crap in there. Yep. You get it from the real places. Yeah. Well, anyway, I just I can't uh, I can't seem to get um, um, uh, the, the uh, thing working, you know, the uh, uh, that the. Uh, Great American Broadcast app there. Uh, yeah, I just went to Safari on the on the desktop. Uh, I clicked on the Great American Broadcast thing, and it was still failing. Yeah, uh, loading and and. But and if so you if you use Chrome, you're fine. <laughs> you're good to go. So I just want to tell everybody that. When I did that, the, this all started when you got your SSL licenses, and I. Couldn't do it on Safari, and I had Firefox downloaded, so I used Firefox. I heard it in a heartbeat. So it works fine on other web browsers. Safari did. It might be so just giving crap to Safari. Safari might. That, that's it, what it sounds like. It could be that maybe if you turn off your uh, pop-up stuff or whatever uh, in Safari, there might be something that's turned on that's kind of preventing it. But it, but yeah, it works fine on on Chrome. It works fine on you say Firefox, um, and I've got a lot of people listening tonight, so I'm not worried that it's keeping people away. So it, what are we going to do with that anyway? Uh, what you, you, you ask? And, and usually, I, usually, I, usually, I will get complaints from people. If anybody's having problem with their browser, let me know. Let me know. You know. Uh, but anyway, where were, were we? Let's get back to all the other. Uh, uh, um, he, he, oh, by the way, this is an interesting item that came across my desk. I'd like to make it sound like I have a desk. Um, and you got people. Uh, and I got people. Yeah, I have people. My people hand me this. Just handed me this. Um, how you doing, Bree, tonight? You, Bree, are you there? Oh, I got a... Well, it's morning here. I got a really bad uh, cold going on, so I'm just trying to kick it. Girlfriend, and I'm off today. Girlfriend's been sick for 10 days now. Anyway, Can't listen to this, folks. A little, what's she got? Let's, a, little, a little reason to cheer. There's some good okay. news in all of this. Federal Communications Commission, who, who you know, is in Trump's pocket, right? Today hit Sinclair Broadcast Group with a fine that is the agency's largest ever proposed for a violation of its sponsorship identification rules. Oh. It's reported the proposed yeah, fine trained. follows up on plans by the FCC surfaced last week. Uh, Sinclair Broadcast Group indicated it will contest the fine. $13.4 million, a notice of apparent wow. liability for its airing of paid programming that did not include proper disclosures when broadcast. 
Oh, the proposed fine of $13,376,200 is for apparently failing to make the required disclosures in connection with the programming sponsored by a third party. The programming was broadcast more than 1,700 times, either as stories resembling independent generated news coverage that aired during the local news. Aha. So uh -huh. this is not infomercials. This is in news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or as longer form stories that aired as 30-minute television programs. So this is a lot of the phony shit they've been putting in their newscast, and they've been fined 13, over $13 million for it. So this is the end of the infomercial? No, this, this, is, infomercial. this isn't an infomercial. This is, this is Sinclair running these phony stories in the news, you know? And they send it around to all their stations. They put this in the news tonight. And they made about Trump? Uh, it, 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 it's about all kinds of things, and supposedly, I oh, guess there well, that's was some their problem. There that's was where they went wrong. Well, they didn't. It's just got to be about they, Trump. They didn't if identify it's about Trump, it. or they give Trump money. Yeah. it'll be fine. They didn't identify it. That's the that's the problem. But anyway, it, Sinclair's getting thumped. All right. Yeah. Uh, of course, they're going to fight it. You know, thirteen and a half million dollars to something that size, I think, is a drop in the bucket. I would. I it's just a slap on the wrist. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I often felt, you know, it, it, we talk about people being fined for stuff. You know, you get a traffic ticket and it's fifty bucks or something like that. Well, if it's fifty bucks and the guy driving the car is uh, uh, is, is somebody who's worth uh, millions, well, fifty bucks is nothing. It's not punitive in any way. But if it's me getting a fifty buck fine, that's punitive. So why don't we start making fines commensurate with how much money you make? Make it a percentage of your income. And then everybody, like, you know, if a millionaire gets a ticket, he's going to be hit just as hard as you'll get hit emotionally and, and financially. You got to run. I asked that question because there was a talk show host, a liberal talk show host here in Pittsburgh that posed that same question Brian, back in 2004, 2003 yeah. about the proportional fining of versus someone's income. I yeah. asked a lawyer that once, and they told me that it would be a violation of, what is it, is it the Fourth Amendment where it also specifies uh, 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 cruel and unusual punishment, that it would be a violation of that? I, I, here's my thinking on it. If you consider a fine to be a punitive gesture to make you not do that particular thing again or to make you aware that you shouldn't do it, if it has no effect on you because it's just a drop in the bucket for you, but it has a lot of effect on somebody else, it is a kind of discriminatory to charge, give, charge somebody the same thing. Doesn't that seem to make sense? So, in other words, the way it is now for poorer people is cruel and unusual. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Bail. When it comes to bail, if somebody's got the ability to, to run, uh, they're going to, uh, you know, probably increase the bail uh, to make it as if they, you know, they wouldn't do that. So, if you got a guy that's on $1,000 bail and, you know, he doesn't have the way, the means to uh, get out of the country or do whatever then uh, the guy who's got $100 million in the bank uh, over in Switzerland, yeah. uh, they're going to give him a higher bail. Yeah. Okay. But you know, a bail and a fine is two different things. No, but uh, you, get, you get what I'm saying. I mean, uh, shouldn't it be, um, um, you know, it shouldn't it be like a percentage of somebody's income. No, that's punitive. No, but that's not punitive. That makes it, uh, it, makes it equal for everybody. Well, if it was I mean, equal for everybody, everybody pay the fifty bucks. But why do we find? Well, why do we find people? We find people because we um, uh, we find them because we want them to um, obey the law. To to to, to right. yeah. And and so if somebody can afford it, they just go fuck you. You know. But the fifty dollar parking ticket. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is the same for everybody because you do you do a crime and they and the crime is then. Evenly, the punishment is evenly distributed, regardless to the offender. You know, now if they made the if they made it so that the uh, the that the ticket was so high that uh, the guy who uh, who would have a real hard time paying it or couldn't pay it, then that would be punitive too, uh, yeah. because you know the guy that can't afford it. Uh, if all of a sudden it was a five hundred dollar fine for uh, you know parking in a uh, you know, in, in a white zone. 
And, uh, you know, the guy who makes a million dollars a year, he can afford it. And the guy who makes uh, $10,000 a year, he can't. But if you gave him the same thing, that would be punitive, too. Yeah. By the way, uh, what, what's with you, Bree? We just got a red, just red. He's spinning now. Is oh, it? really? That's strange. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Huh. There we go. Now yeah, we got a. Now, now, now we have a picture. Now we have a picture. Uh, now oh, we have okay. your your picture. Now we have your picture or video. There Excuse we go. Me. Yes. That's yeah, awesome. see me? Wearing, yeah, wearing your Captain America T-shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not Target. Sports. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> no. Communist the, Target. The communist version of Target. <laughs> well, anyway, for all of you out there, don't use Safari mm -hmm. to try and. Uh, uh, to hear this program on our from our site. Don't click on Mac Keeper. Well, yeah, I, I don't know where that came from because I'm not getting uh, that at all. You know, I, 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 just have, I have a funny feeling that you had something already installed on your machine that triggered that. Okay, some some mm -hmm. malware that got on your machine. Well, when I I think when I was trying to download this thing, it said trust, and then I said, ah, oh, this is off of your site. I trust it. Boom. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I'm. Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna do what Renee said. I'm just going to call uh, Mac, uh, you know, Apple Care or Apple Service yeah. and have them walk me through it. I just, it's just amazing to me. You know, Mac is a, uh, is a trademark name. It's not like PC is not a trademark name, but Mac is. I would think Apple would sue these people and just say you, you can't call it Mac Keeper, you know? Uh, uh, I would it's go, probably because they mash it all together you, you and call what, Mac you, Keeper you, in one word. You know what I mean? The guy who created is named Mac. Yeah. Yeah, how you? Yeah, they shortened it. It was Mac and Cheese. <laughs> now, we, it, it would, it would probably it, have a, a case yeah, if Mac there was Mac Keeper is one word. Oh, yeah. yeah. If there was a space in there, they'd probably have a case. Yeah. Yeah. But... Anyway, so I think I think there's something wrong with actually with the Safari play with the Safari. Um, Alex, don't you remember that that the word Mac was like a generic name of? If you didn't know somebody's name, it was Mac and called, cheese. Hey, Mac, the knife. My father. Oh, 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 by the way, Jack Jack Bishop, if you're listening, do not call us. I see he's coming online. Do not call us. We have too many people already. Yeah. Left. Jeff, we used to use that as an inner. We used to use the name Betty. Everybody was a Betty. Wait What's your name? Oh, hold on a second. Let me add him to the group, and then we can get rid of him. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> hello, uh, he hello. I, I can't take you. Oh, okay. Because we've got too many people. All right. Okay. Oh, bye. Miss anybody? There we go. Okay. I never heard Betty as a. What? It was well. See, that was that was the eighties. Sorry. Yeah. You were I wasn't really there busy. that time. <laughs> yeah, you, you weren't at my level at that time. You I was were like too young. There. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it, it, and there was another one. There was another female name that they used a lot, like well, sort of doll or doll face. They used that a lot, but it's not really a name. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, um, um, where, where's, where was I? So anyway. Uh, so oh, you're I, talking about oh. Sinclair, and I was reading that uh, this was a uh, profit company that's a cancer. Uh, I guess they treat people for cancer, and they paid Sinclair a lot of money to do stories on this facility. Yeah. See, that's fake news. That's the true definition of fake news. Well, and Sinclair is involving themselves in it. Uh, you know, uh, if they would have said this is an advertisement at the head of the thing, then they would have okay. Right. It's a Hunt, Huntsman Cancer Center, and they paid for stories to air, but did not tell the viewers. Yeah, they deserve every penny of that thirteen million. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, I just put up Firefox. It works perfectly on Firefox. So it's something yeah. It's something with the Safari browser that I, I don't know. But I, I, what happened to you, Phil, I think, was that already somehow some malware had already gotten on your machine. And then when you went there, it triggered it. Well, when I went to download whatever it asked me to download, I said yes. And, uh, you know, you don't read the fine print. And kind of 
I got the free Mac Keeper <laughs> with uh, with the rest of the stuff. Wow! It was, it was a gift. <laughs> it, was it keeps a, on giving. It, 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 yeah. it, you don't read the fine print, and you wind up being a part of some science experiment involving a human centipede. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that episode of South Park. Yeah. 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 So I can I ask Kevin a question. Kevin, you said you only have Safari on your on your desktop. Yeah. How do you? There's the, see this. What if you're not a Mac user, you don't you don't see this that often. But we, we know that there are actual websites that that don't run on Safari. So we have to have a backup browser because some people just don't code for Mac. And so if I can't, if I get something screwy, like I, like we were doing as soon as he got his security licenses, if I see something screwy and I can't get it on Safari, I immediately shut it down and go over to Firefox because, and I get that at least uh, maybe once every two weeks that I have to pop in and, and run a website on it. it. It's pretty common. So how do you live with just one, <laughs> one search? I, I don't, uh, if it doesn't work, I don't, I don't care. What, what, <laughs> uh, let me, let me explain something about the security thing. It's something that they sold me. Go, da it, it, go daddy. And it's a good thing to have. It's a, you know, yes. but the trouble is if I'm bringing a signal in from the outside that isn't compatible with it, it drops the security. In other words, you lose that green lock uh, and that's fine it's it's okay I don't mind if that happens but um, for some reason um, uh, you know I've had a problem having that be compatible with say the one I was using before that was just when you came to the site because the signal coming from my server which is uh, Voscast they're not uh, they're not SSL if the signal was SSL as a signal, then I would have no problem with it. I, I just don't know what is going on with the Safari thing where Firefox works and uh, and and Chrome works. But Chrome is the it's most not, used is the most German used. SS server? Huh? You have it's a just, German SS server? No, no it's SSL. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So but enough of the technology, <laughs> folks. Tell your papers. See, this is what I have to deal with every day. This works, but that doesn't work. You know, and and the fact is, yeah. the only thing, the only benefit I have here is that Chrome is the most <coughs> used. I think it's on about eighty percent of all machines that people use Chrome. So if you don't, if you want to get the audio from the show, use Chrome or use Firefox. Don't don't use Safari. I never use Safari because I find it to be, I don't know, it's kind of goofy. Also, the other thing about Apple, I was staple. I get I get uh, spam. Right, I have a spam filter, and the mm -hmm. spam filter, all the spam I get is from my Mac, my me dot com uh, service, my the uh, Apple your service. email, huh? The <laughs> Apple email. Why is it all the junk mail is coming through that? It doesn't come to gabnet dot net. You know, I'm fine with that. That's interesting. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't really notice that. So why I'm doesn't Apple? Why funny. doesn't Apple do something about all this shit? You know, I on top of that, they're slowing down. They do a fuck, and they take advantage of their consumer base. Well, you heard the like latest Mac about Apple. They're slowing down the iPhones. What? Yeah. You yeah. That? If your yeah. battery starts to go, they they put a piece, they added software to the phone that will then slow the processor down so the battery doesn't appear to go as fast as it was. Well, it's, maybe rather if than just letting the well, no, slow but, it down. Yeah. Uh, if if you don't slow it down, you might get a fire like they did. In no, Samsung. no, no. That that has nothing to do with it. it this has to do with the well, fact the that battery. if your battery no. is, if your battery is is losing power, okay, yeah. and uh, you, uh, they have a program in there that automatically slows down all your other processes, so the battery will last longer. But your well, phone isn't sense. working as no. But your phone isn't working efficiently. Yeah, well, it keeps the phone from dying and it gives you time to replace the battery. Well, no, but it doesn't. It makes, it you, do makes you go out and buy a new one. No, it doesn't have you. It doesn't have a, a, a notification that says, "Hey, your battery's dying. Go go down to Apple and get them to install a new battery." Well, my new iPhone, the battery lasts all day long, and if I forget to charge it and I get up at like three in the morning to pee and I look. It's still got half a charge. That's fine, Phil. Mine lasts. All, mine lasts. Mine lasts two days. 
Really? Okay, so yeah. The other thing that I heard on NPR about that story, which it was might. important, was yeah. they're only talking about the sixes and the sevens. Yeah. They're not talking about the eight and the tens. So these are the older phones that they want you to change up, just like Raw. Who was it that said it? Brian said it. They want you, they're slowing yeah. this stuff We're down. Exactly. Oh, by the way, Mark Bonner writes me on my on the on the on the Facebook page that uh, in Germany the price you pay for a fine is determined by your income. Good. See, and they had concentration camps there. Yeah, too. I knew you'd bring that up. <laughs> yeah. that, that's your that's your excuse. Uh, yeah. Alex, yes. Alex, the uh, it's funny because he says that because. You know, uh, I forget. It was a few years ago that a Supreme Court justice or somebody said got got hell from the right for saying that we should use international law for like, a pretense for future laws that mm -hmm. uh, are enforced. If I'm right about this, it was, I only have vague, vague recollections about this. But that's funny because you know, the right was all, "Oh, you can't say that. We're in the United States of America. America. Fuck yeah. M, -A -M E R I K K K A H. Fuck yeah. No, 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 no." Then well, explain yeah. why the Constitution was based on the Magna Carta. I wasn't aware that the Magna Carta existed along with the Native Americans. No. Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> it was from what, 16th century? It, 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 was, it was out of print. And uh, they, were, they were able to use it um, without paying royalties. So anyway, you know, in the beginning, Rob said how depressed he's been about what's going on in this country and I, I just I quite agree with you Rob that I'm just as depressed by it I'm and and now I I throw this question out can anybody name a president who during his term in office had the United States sanctioned by the UN because today the UN took a vote on Trump's uh, policy of uh, of building a uh, uh, these uh, what do you oh, call it? The, the thing in Jerusalem, and they yeah, took not a, recognizing they, Jerusalem. Yeah, and they they down. condemned. They took a vote to condemn the United States for that action, and mm -hmm. only nine countries voted against it. And, did you hear our response? Thirty. Yes, yeah, our response uh, was a. Th up there and said we take note. Yes, we're, yeah. We're, yeah. this is a threat. We're taking note. We're writing down all the names of the countries that yeah. voted against us, and we'll, you know, we may not do business with you. Uh, well, they yeah. said, you know, they're paying most of the uh, freight on the UN, and uh, and they, you know, they want our money, but they won't. But that support. doesn't mean that you buy our fraud. Uh, it's not yeah. a fraud. You don't uh, buy our. Price. You don't buy our causing problems in the world. You don't buy off the UN. I'm sorry. The yeah. UN means the We're United not. Nations. <laughs> yes, he Phil. Phil. He, he I mean, said, not Phil. But dear friend. Right here. Yes, oh, Rob. Friend. Rob. Rob's got his hand up. Pennywise pound foolish. We spend all this money around the world so that we have influence. So we're at the table. There are plenty of other countries, i.e. Russia and China, who if we withdraw from that, they're going to eat all that up and then they're going to have that kind of influence. You know, when my brother, when my, my brother did something 30 years ago, he moved, I'm gonna in, try to call you on the computer, by the way. He moved into an apartment complex that had a, uh, an HOA and he decided he didn't want people spending his money without him being involved. So he got on the board. Mm -hmm. That's the reason he got on the board. That's the reason he that's the reason the United States takes an active role around the world. Yeah. You just can't shut down or you become a spectator and then the world passes you by. Can you hear me? I love that right. the UN yes, I can hear is a global you. Yeah. HOA. We can hear you. Uh, Renee, we don't have a picture on you. Are you there, Renee? Renee, it looks like she just. I tried calling you from another computer, but again. Okay, but uh, you know what you're saying, Rob. I think is true. I mean, do we want to give up our 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 our, our leadership leadership role. Uh, leadership role at the table? People you look know, to us. But Countries Patrick look had, to us. Patrick had his hand up. Did you have something about this about the UN taking this uh, uh, con condemning the United States? Yeah, my hand gesture. Oh, I see that. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that is the universal sign for pleasuring oneself. Uh, uh, it, 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 um, I know it well. The fact of the matter is, though, 
that I can't think of any other uh, administration where the United States has been condemned by the UN. No, uh, somehow I, I remember one. I think really, I do, you remember, do, you, do you remember one, Jeff? I don't. Uh, somehow I, I think so. Uh, well, yeah, it might really have been. Have Google, Google it up. Maybe it is. Uh, it for Iran? I mean, Iraq? Uh, the I first say it couldn't have been George W. Bush on account of the fact that, you know, we had some opposition from the United Nations, but not to the extent that this, uh, this, this is, this is a, a bonfire compared to the, compared to like the little. But then Nikki uh, Haley getting up in front of the UN and threatening these countries. We're, we're taking yeah. your names. We know who you are. Unreal. Yeah, I mean, it, and what, uh, you uh, live. no, but this is the way that Trump runs Thank a country. You. He bullies you, you know, it's a, uh, yes. You bully him back. Patrick, Fuck you, but she looked good doing it. I yeah, mean, okay. she, <laughs> I disagree. How doing it? I love a woman. Does like she knows chachis? Yeah, <laughs> I'll give the man that much. I mean, she does look good for her age. Better than Palin, that's for damn sure. Well, I mean, oh. she me all day. when she I'm was uh, what governor of uh, uh, South Carolina, wasn't she? South Carolina? Carolina. I thought she was one of the was youngest. North Carolina people. or South Carolina? One of those. They all look alike. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said at the uh, bus was, station or at yeah, the ACP North. meeting, Phil. Uh, yeah, no, I thought she was a young woman. She is. Uh -huh. She called me a Yankee and thanked me with a rebel uh, yeah. pack or anything. No, she was the one that stood up and had them take down the Confederate flag off of the state houses. Uh, yeah. The state house and uh, and. Yeah. and Things. Yeah, and who knows, Patrick? She might work miracles for you. She might make your third leg erect again. It, oh, it gets no, anyway. it gets erect anyway. Uh, it, We've already it, had this conversation. You can walk this. on it. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Stiff it listen, off. listen. We've tried everything with him. If we tried, what was the what was that Reverend uh, Peter Peter Popoff? Yeah. 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 We tried Peter Popoff with him, and all he I got were that, tons of stuff. You was know, did you get any more stuff lately? Do you get any more mail from Peter Popov, or did he give up on you? He gave up on me about a year and a half ago or two years ago. <laughs> yeah, he wanted money. Peter Popcock. Well, I think the, I think he's smart enough to take tabs on everybody and to make sure that he, you know, if he sends you too much stuff and you haven't sent anything back, fuck you. Peter you know. Puffer, Popper, and, Popper. And, and Popper. you know, it's, uh, you can continue to be in a wheelchair, P Patrick. We tried to save you. We tried to save your ass. <laughs> he's possessed by the devil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just didn't give enough money to get saved. All right, so 1989 was Ronald Reagan for yeah. what year? Yes, Ronald Reagan. The United Nations General Assembly voted Friday, uh, this was December 30th, 1989, to condemn the U.S. military intervention in Panama yeah. and called the United States to halt its action to withdraw its invasion forces. 89 was George Bush Sr. Bush, Bush Sr.? Bush Bush Bush. Yeah. No, Bush Republican yeah. Anima, I think, was uh, was that Reagan or was that Bush? 89. It, it, the election, uh, Bush was elected. 88. Eight. So it was yeah. 89. Yeah. Yeah, I got that was when we were trying you, to was a CIA-installed dictator to begin with, Manuel Noriega. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. how we, how we, how we <laughs> got him? our malfeasance. Remember how we were trying to get him out of his, uh, his wherever, his, uh, his uh, capital building or whatever he was holed up in in his yes. mansion or whatever and, and how we got him out or tried to get him out by playing rock music loud i had a friend right. uh my friend who taught me how to shoot was actually in that invasion force uh that uh that, that went down there and uh, uh and routed out oh you know i always felt sorry for manuel noriega and let me explain why. Complexion? No, well, that that was one problem, you know. Uh, but uh, the thing I always felt bad about him is he was another guy who say never do business with the United States because they will come back and they will like jail you. And in his case, uh, he was doing he was doing the bidding of the United States of America. And when he finally said, "I'm not going to do this any longer," <clears throat> next thing you know, we're invading him, we arrest him, and we put him in prison for the rest of his life. So we didn't kill him. We didn't kill him. Cots yeah. in a cot. 
Yeah, he finally died, though, and he died, I think, in France. I think that was another prison. I he thought went it was to. too long ago when he died. Huh? And no, I thought it was the United States he died in. in no, Florida. I, <laughs> no, I think he died in a foreign country. I think they, when we were through with him, somebody else wanted him, so we sent him there, and I think he died there. Look it up. Somebody look up where Noriega died. I may be wrong, but I seem to remember that. Uh, but it, a perfect example of why you don't do business with the United States. He was the United States puppet. And when he said, I'm no longer going to be your puppet any longer. Oh, he's a drug lord. Let's arrest him and let's throw him in jail. And then we threw him in jail in, I think it was Louisiana, someplace like that. City. Hmm? I thought it was Florida. A hospital but, but, called uh, Santa was Florida. Moss in Panama City, Panama. Did he really? Yeah. Oh. Here's my here's my boner of contention. Uh, <laughs> the uh, thing is, paraphrasing the movie Gotti, not the new one with John Travolta, the crossdresser. I'm talking about the old one, the Armand Desante that came out in '96. Yeah. A parallel, a point is made. I'm paraphrasing here that uh, the U United States is arguably the biggest violator of their own. RICO statutes, considering the fact that when they, do, when they do something like they did with Manuel Noriega or even the uh, Shah of Iran, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. But whenever the mafia does shit like that, you know, it's a capital offense. <laughs> well, because yeah. it has a cute little yeah. star and stripe flag wrapped around it, we should all go, yay! Yeah. Fuck. You know how he died? Who? Uh, Noriega. Uh, I don't know. Somebody tried to fill Actual in his causes, pocket. I Somebody tried oh. to fill in his pock marks. No, complications of brain surgery. Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, we were paying for his operation, and uh, he died. We've, we've heard That's because he ultimately cooperated. We've, very, we've, we've heard very not. little from Michael Klein tonight. Anything you want to add to this discussion, Michael? Uh, not about Noriega, no, but uh, the tax bill is kind of what yeah. prompted me to call in. Okay, well. Uh, and, I, and, and, and I actually read some of it. And uh, was you know doing keyword searches on things that are appealed to me in my business, and uh, I, I if I, I I used to be a full time employee at CBS, mm -hmm. and if if I didn't go back to freelancing, I would be I I figured I'd lose about fourteen thousand dollars in deductions for just. The, that and because they got rid of the uh, unreimbursed employee expenses, and uh, I also lose four thousand dollars in the personal exemption. And uh, I used to have a lot of uh, uh, HELOCs, and uh, those are all no longer. Well, second second mortgages are only deductible if it's for purchase money financing or if it's for uh, home improvements but if you just get a, a, a home equity loan and uh, use it for debt consolidation or what have you uh, that's not that's deductible not, anymore that's not deductible anymore no. and I, I I just I'm, I'm blown away on how this is really helping corporations and and not the average Joe and I, I actually took took the numbers and the changes from what's going to happen in 2018 and applied it to my 2016 taxes, mm -hmm. and I would be paying $2,000 more. Are, are you in a I, higher earning bracket? Well, I wouldn't be if I would have all the deductions. But no, now no, no, but you see, what they're saying is, is that the middle class are supposed to benefit from this, and corporate. Well, I live in Los Angeles, you know, and, and what's middle class in Los Angeles? You know, I make around 150. All right. And well. and, and and I'm, I'm. Str I mean, my mortgage is five grand a month. I know the feeling. Beautiful LA. <laughs> So it's it's still hard to live on 150 grand in Los Angeles. Yeah, they they went like this to all the blue states. Yeah, I was right. I was listening they to Bob like Brinker. Yeah, I was listening to Bob Brinker this weekend, and that's exactly what they were talking about. Rob was that this is a pun so all the so you had a whole bunch of Republicans calling into this financial <laughs> talk, and the Republicans oh, kept saying the same thing. It just kept saying that we're getting rid of the blue top. It's a fun. Alabama's starting to look good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in, right. yeah. for a pedophile, maybe. Well, what what's interesting is is that uh, it, it seems as though what most of these companies are going to do with their big tax deduction is they're just going to buy back a lot of their stock and pay off a lot of their debts, 
and they have no desire to hire anybody new. So, but to try and paint a beautiful picture, these corporations did some things in the last week, like AT&T said they were going to give something like, I don't know, three, uh, 20, 200,000 of their employees $1,000 bonuses for Christmas. <laughs> And I said that you know, well, they're they're trying to like sell this whole thing to the American public because it's good for them. And they started I started to think I about heard it. I them say that well, they're planning on laying off a bunch of people. Well, well. here's what I want to know: How much of a bonus would they have gotten anyway? Thousand dollars. But what, <laughs> yeah. what CEO is going to be praised for giving money to the employees, <clears throat> not just praised for giving profit to the shareholders? Absolutely. Well, let's see, you're, right. you're you're asking the right question there. The age-old question: It doesn't work. Yeah, well, down economics does but, not work. Yeah. And 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 from Reagan, you know, uh, uh, employee wages have been flat. Yeah, well, we got seven more years to see if it works. Oh God, we've already been down this road. Though. Then, then the eighth year, it'll all go to shit, and he'll walk away. Now you, no. the joke. <laughs> Uh, We've all seen seven, this before. Eight years in Trump for eight years. The problem so, is, four, four. three years from now or seven years from now, we're going to elect another limp dick, double, double fork tongue, two faced, corporateering, cock sucking Democrat in name only. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, uh, uh, I'm very happy for the corporations. I'm happy for people getting the thousand dollar bonus. But w we're, what bon? I want to know the amount of the bonus they were going to get anyway. You know, uh, so did you see the list? And you put out a, sorry, you what? put out a press release. You're going to give thousands of dollars to the employees. You have no verification of that. No. Who knows? Right. That's true. Right. Um, you know. And Alex, you were talking the same way Bob Brinker was. Same wording. It's it's just not going to happen. It's a fallacy that Republicans keep talking about. They are not going to go out and pay their hire new people, and they're not going to be paying them a whole lot more money. So it's just a fallacy that we're hanging on to. And and Alex said it just time and time again. So my thing is with Rob, what you said was. 17 million Americans are about to lose their health care, and they will lose their health care this time. Oh, by the way, no it, yeah, by the way, why, why don't you just hire a few more old farts like me? Then I, then I might say, hey, this is doing something. But you want to know something? Did you hear about this thing? This is quick. This is an old story, but it just reared its ugly head. That companies like, uh, uh, let me see, Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Target, and Facebook itself are advertising for... Uh, uh, hires for their companies on Facebook and they're right. targeting certain age groups so that old people won't apply for jobs with them. Did you hear about that one? This one, you just pay attention to this story because well, this is there are a lot of older people I know who use Facebook and a lot of younger people who no longer yeah, use Facebook. Yeah, but it's being targeted to those people who are like, uh, like between 25 and 36 or something like that. Now, Facebook, you can target market yeah. certain people. Yeah, and that, that way they don't have to worry about the Altacacas trying to apply and then suing them for age discrimination. But this may get them sued for age discrimination. Quick, uh, Phil, you have something. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this, this is uh, CNN money for individual flyer, uh, fly, filers. Number one, it lowers the uh, many of the individual tax rates, nearly doubles the standard deduction, uh, eliminates personal exemptions. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, but I, doubling the standard deduction doesn't mean anything if you file a Schedule A. Right. It's only well, for 1040A and 1040EZ, but people who file Schedule A, that double deduction does crap. Right. Uh, expands the child tax credit. I don't uh, have children. Creates a I, I don't have children, uh, Phil. Do you, uh, I don't have children. Neither does Rob. Yeah, but if you had a non-child dependent, like, uh, you know, Marjorie. <laughs> you what know, do you mean? It, I, you at know, this know. point, I'm her dependent. Uh, uh, it curbs those hit by the uh, uh, alternative minimum, minimum tax. That's uh, good. It preserves smaller and popular tax breaks. It uh, exempts almost. Yeah, I, I constantly got screwed by the AMT, but I'm still paying. And when I did the figures, still paying two thousand dollars more in 2016. If these still no, these numbers were in 2016. Numbers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The AMT the mandate to buy health insurance. They didn't the kill the AMT. They raised it just to let you know. And thank God. Well, it. no, they raised it. 
Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, there's stuff there, in there. there that's look, look, uh, they they uh, raised the number of it. At least that's the last thing I read, which I read this morning. But I'll go back and try. All and I'm saying it is where this is going to where we're going to find out about this is when people first get that first paycheck, they're going to be happy. But when they suddenly find out the next year what they're going to be paying in taxes, they are going to be breathless. Uh, not well, with yeah, excitement. I was, but I was reading they haven't figured out how they're going to figure out how much money to take out of paychecks because they got rid of the personal exemptions. You know, you fill out your W-2 and you put in how many exemptions. There is no personal exemption. There's just there's just uh, child exemptions now. What? Oh. We're, we're, we're going to see what happens. Like, not uh, only Husband and wife? But when you file your taxes, that's going to be the... Uh, oh, I hear result. music. Yeah. Well, you hear music because it's the end of the program. That's why you sure. hear the music. Hey, hey thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Phil. It's good to have you here tonight. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Uh, and, of course, uh, we don't hear quite enough from you, Michael, but you uh, made the show very interesting towards the end of it. Yeah. So thank you. Good. Renee, thank you for your call. Rob, I love the fact that you called tonight and discussed the whole matter, and it's, it's great to have you here. Uh, uh, Mike, same to you. Same to you, Patrick. Uh, Bree in uh, Dubai, thank you so much. And, of course, Brian, what I'd like is for all of you to wave a big goodbye to all the folks out there in television land. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and uh, we'll be back again with one more citizen panel for the year, and then we're off for the next week. Um, by the way, I will say to all of you, uh, and I say this uh, if for you who want to try and listen to, the, to us on gabnet.net, just simply use Chrome, use Firefox. It seems, you can probably use uh, Safari on your iPad and iPhone, but uh, it doesn't work on the Mac. Okay? So that's all I can say. Uh, we'll try and fix it or see what that problem is or even complain to Apple, who will then never reply to us. Anyway, I just want to say to you, next is Jack and Amy. They are doing the intersection. After that is Connections at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm Alex Bennett, and as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>